And here we are down at the bottom right hand corner of Antigua Shipyard. We have our our, our green Terran player from Corunta Esports Club. It is Lucifron. His opponent here in the top left hand corner, our red Terran player from Empire, the one and only Kass. That's right, and I'm sorry you were uh, adjusting yourself. I apologize, but uh, that mic. Yeah. Let's uh, let's talk about that last match just for one more second because Koss is going to need to realize what happened there, and uh, he's going to need to make sure that loose because he seemed to be good in the early game here. Oh God! Hold on, hold on. I'm going to interrupt everything that you were just about to say because we're about to have. Double proxy racks, and I don't mean double proxy racks from one player. I mean two people are sending out. Okay, uh, Lucifron is actually going meet. to do a double proxy racks, and they see each other in the middle. Will Kaz see the second barracks? He will not. This is going to make it a little more difficult because, all right, now you're in a situation where, all right, my opponent has committed to proxy racksing me, and I am proxy racksing him. Both players can have a, a reaction to this. They're going to know exactly, I mean, you, you find out what works for you and you and, and you roll with it exactly like, I mean, I remember doing training versus seeing a Protoss who was opening with a, a Proxy 2 gate, for yeah. instance, and learning how I want to deal with this. So you're going to have your comfortable reaction. Here's the thing. Koss, he's going to check to see if it's a two racks. Beautiful maneuver here. He's going to see that there are two, and yep. now he's going to be able to respond appropriately. Yeah, this is going to make it a little bit rougher for Koss now. Oh, especially because Koss is pulling SEVs, and at the same time, he's getting gas. So he's not just proxy Raxing. This is going to be like proxy Marauders or something like that. So Koss is actually opening with a gas variant here, whereas Lucifron, he may even just have to cancel one of these bunkers. I think he actually lost one of those SEVs. Oh, uh, the other he one. Did. What's happening to the other one? Oh, it's my God. It's so, so close. low. It's dead. And now these SCVs, yes, one barracks did finish up. If that uh, barracks had actually stopped just before it was done, that would have been GG. Cos or Lucifer would have just left at like two minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah. As it stands even now, a one prox a, a double proxy racks with Marines is better than one proxy racks with Marines versus this, which is going to be either Marauders or Reapers, and it's going to be Reapers. Yeah, I, I mean, Lucifer looks like he's gearing up to drop an expansion right now, which he is. Yes. Dropping an expansion. This game could end very quickly. <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh, he's floating his barracks back, too. It, this game is actually... Done. Over. Yep. Yeah, he just dropped a gas. Maybe if you dropped a barracks and then made, like, a ritual circle around the barracks and sacrificed each SCV <laughs> subsequently as the building one died... Yeah. You could have had, like, you know, a, 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 a ceremony here to produce a marine that would battle the Reaper one-on-one. -on -one. And they could have like a Mortal combat, and, and if the Reaper lost, then cost with GG. But as it stands, that's GG. GG. And and uh, Koss wins game number two. All right, so an incredibly quick game after the long drawn out game that we saw. Uh, and as Adrian laughs in the background, that was actually really funny. Watching though. the double rack, so and uh, yeah. I don't even know what to say about that. There is not much to say. We're going to move into the next one soon, guys. Yeah. Quick commercial break.